yeah yeah there's a nothing but what have discussed i'll be just uh, i mean if anything is missed i will cover in these slides so normally menstrual cycle will be how many days quickly fast you need to answer i have two more topics to cover 21 to 35 so approximate range is 21 to 35 normally it will be 28 day cycle so the dominant follicle releases which hormone so it is dependent on which hormone more estrogen that is what it is given more estradiol so more estradiol is going to stimulate which hormone it is going to cause what surge lh lh surge fsh lh surge more estradiol more lh surge so normally it will be around approximately 4 to 5 days 5 days menses but when is abnormal more than 7 days not 7 days 7 days is also considered normal more than 7 days is considered abnormal so blood clots now they have not mentioning this the book said the size the clot size if it is greater than 1 inch diameter 1 inch how much is 1 inch 2.5 cm if the size of the clot the patient passes small clots of 1 cm uh, even though she passes many also it is not considered significant so clot measuring greater than 1 inch diameter greater than 2.5 cm diameter it is considered significant or else leave about the clots because even normal patients will pass clots approximately greater than 80 ml is called as abnormal okay this is the two cell two gonadotrophin theory so lh what it is going to do it is converting the cholesterol into androstenedien so this androstenedien where which is what cell it is which cell what hormone dominant hormone in granulosa cell so fsh here it is fsh what it is going to do it is going to take this androstenedien it is going to get convert into what is the process called as enzyme aromatase is it clear so this finally this estrogen is getting circulated the ovarian cycles we have seen so the what three phases one is follicular phase in between it is the ovulatory phase the second phase is luteal phase so when does how many how many days the follicular phase will start last approximately in a 28 day cycle until how much when to when we call it as follicular phase 1 to 13 approximately 14th day is the day of the ovulation one second from 15 to 28 we call it as luteal phase so approximately 14 days in front 14 days behind okay so at puberty how many will be left out how many follicles are there at puberty so this already we have discussed the follicular phase uh, this uh, nothing but maturation days we have discussed everything endometrium to proliferate Uh, T cells increased androgens. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Ovulation surge. Yeah, ovarian phase. This phases we know. Okay. Yeah, answer this question fast. Resolution of corpus luteum. Why it is degenerating? A B C D. Which is answer? C. Right. Next. during ovulation phase so what is happening out of this four what is happening in ovulation phase during ovulation ovulation on the 14th day what is happening yeah d can be the answer and uh, even the c is also the answer okay the c even the activin levels also will increase why not b who have answered b why not b which phase the fsh is going to increase steroidogenesis in granulosa cells follicular otherwise called as which phase another name of proliferative so the fsh is going to act on the which phase initial phases so initial granulosa cell development is seen in the follicular at the time of ovulation the follicles are ready so now no more development only rupture so the b is wrong why a is wrong it is inhibin b levels not inhibin a okay there are two types of inhibin a and b so it is inhibin b but not inhibin a levels so leave about inhibin active in is going to increase c is correct and even d is correct next fast fast a b c d i told you on day 3 which hormone i am doing 
FSH for what I am do, doing to see how many whatever the follicles are left out. So it is the best indicator of ovarian reserve is FSH. That's why I do it on day two and day three. A hormonal profile for the patient as soon as she comes to check how many left out follicles are there in the ovary. It indicates the ovarian reserve. What is the other hormone which is done to check the ovarian reserve? Which is secreted by granulosa cells? No, once again, no, 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 other. Check over and reserve. Reserve indicates how many left out follicles are there, functioning follicles. Either I can check it by FSH levels or one more hormone recently coming. No, no, no. What is AMH? Anti Mullerian hormone. Anti-Mullerian hormone is the other hormone which is used to check the ovarian reserve nowadays. Okay, two hormones for ovarian reserve. Any doubt? Yes, next. A, B, C, D, A, answer. Answer is A. LH surge. What is causing LH surge increase? Estrogen. Estrogen. Okay. A, B, C, D, answer. Is it clear now? How can they can ask you? So the completion of first meiotic division is seen at puberty. So when does they enter? When does they enter into meiotic phase? First meiotic division. Huh? What? Yeah, intrauterine life they are entering, but they are en ending at puberty. Is it clear? Completion of second meiotic division. Which one? Fibrosis, fatty, hyalinization? A, B, C, D. Answer. D. Answer is D. Answer is D. It undergoes fatty degeneration, fibrosis and even hyalinization. Everything. The answer is D. Okay. Next. Maximum development of corpus luteum is seen at. When is the corpus luteum getting ruptured? Other than they are asking in an indirect way. Corpus luteum is getting ruptured. Once it ruptures, it releases maximum progesterone. On which day the progesterone is going to get released? 24. 24 means how many days before ovulation? Before menstruation? 4 to 6 days before menses. Is it clear? So they are asking in an indirect way. Just use your brain. That's it. Okay? Next, next question. First polar body. First meiotic division. First meiotic division. Hmm? A, B, C, D. Which one? A, B, C, D. Out of this, which one? A, B, C, D. B or D? How many are D? How many are B? D or B? B? The answer is B. First polar body, first meiotic division. When is the first meiotic division? Ovulation. So, puberty during ovulation. That's what I told you. The first meiotic division which indicates which releases first polar body. Second meiotic division, the second polar body. Okay. Next. Answer. Fast. Secretory phase begins from when? Yeah. Why not inhibin? Why not inhibin? Previous question. Someone answered D. Why not inhibin? Inhibin is secreted by which cells? Granulosa cells, not corpus luteum. Next. Secretory phase. When do we call secretory phase? Begins from when? Out of A, B, C, D. What answer? I say A. A is correct or not? Last 14 days, but not 7 days. That's what I told you. 14 days before, 14 days behind. So, what is the correct answer? For when do we see the graphene follicle? Graphene follicle. Formation of graphene follicle is still early. Even before ovulation, the follicle. But the secretory phase starts after ovulation. Okay? That is also wrong. Implantation of more life, no way we are related. So, begins from which phase? Day of ovulation. After ovulation, we call it as secretory phase. Yeah, fast, fast. Which of the following is true? Which of the following is true?
Yeah, past A B C D. Someone. A. How many of you want for A? Opt for A. So okay, wrong. B. B wrong. Then what is the maximum size of the ovum? Huh? What is the mature ovum? Mature ovum size. 120 to 140. Okay, it is not 250. Here it is double. It is 120 to 140. So the B is also wrong. C. What is corpus luteum? Until how many weeks it will maintain pregnancy? D. D is correct or not? Yes, D is the correct option because telescoping in the estrogenic activity we see the telescoping of the glands. Maximum mitosis is seen in which phase? Maximum mitosis is indicating so simple. Just use think. Maximum uh, when when this needs multiplication cell, it needs maximum mitosis. So maximum proliferation is seen at which phase? Follicular phase because more cells are proliferating, so more mitosis is seen. So the early phase it is dominated by more mitosis. At the same time, telescoping of the glands. Whereas in the ovulation phase, what is going to happen? Subnuclear vacuolation. Just remember these points. No other alternative. Just mug it up. That's it. Okay. Subnuclear vacuolation is seen in the ovulation phase. Corkscrew shaped glands. Where do we see? In which phase? First phase, ovulation or cycle? Secretory phase. We see corkscrew shape because the whatever there, they are going to get converted into more spiral. So we call it as corkscrew shaped. In the previous picture, we have seen in the last picture the black slide which is showing round round. Nothing but corkscrew shaped glands. Okay. So the corkscrew shape is seen which phase? Secretory phase. Telescoping is seen in. What is the name of the phase? Follicular phase. Subnuclear vacuolation at ovulation. 